Today, Milwaukee's mayor has positive for COVID-19. A spokesperson for Mayor Cavalier Johnson says he'll isolate staying home and away from others. His symptoms are, quote, very mild. The mayor's office says he's tested at least five times this week. Today is the only test that was positive. Now, right before testing positive, the mayor held a press conference. Johnson wore a mask as he walked in, but not while he was speaking. He ha we had a crew there. They say he kept distance between himself and reporters who were also wearing masks. That press conference was about the mayor's first 100 days in office. So how's he doing? Angelica Sanchez took that question out to the community. She joins us live from City Hall right now. That's right, Ben. Money and public safety. The mayor says that those remain some of his top priorities for the city of Milwaukee. People we spoke with here in Milwaukee seem to agree. But when it comes to how the mayor is doing, those answers from the people weren't so simple. Milwaukeeans looking up to Friday's show by the lakefront tell us the issues on the ground most concerning to them. Gun violence is my major concern every day. Just the gun violence, the unnecessary vi well, just violence in general, um, drive-by shootings. Inside City Hall. I continue to be uh, energetic uh, about the, the challenges that we face and the opportunities that abound. Mayor Cavalier Johnson marks his first 100 days in office. I haven't seen much change since Caval Cavalier Johnson took over. I mean, he's doing what he can with what he has to work with. Mayor Johnson says public safety remains a top priority for his administration. Major categories, rape, burglaries, and, you know, several others, I believe even car thefts, those numbers are down, some even double digits. So we're making some progress here, but there's obviously more to do. But the city is still dealing with a record high homicide rate. This time last year, the city logged 91 homicides. Today, that number is at 131. It's important to, to make sure that this city grows and that this city is prosperous. Challenges ahead for the mayor will be tackling the city's budget tied to a ballooning pension problem. The mayor says he's focused on strengthening relationships with state lawmakers. His goal is more shared revenue and the ability to bring a local sales tax. You don't need to be, you know, an, an accountant to understand that if you've got rising costs but declining revenues, that you're going to have a problem meeting your bills. After 100 days in office, the mayor says his position is complex and there's no shortage of pressures. I'm eager to continue to do this work because it's important to the people who, who we serve. Now, the mayor's supporters say one of his biggest accomplishments has has been bringing Milwaukee so close to hosting the 2024 Republican National Convention, which could bring an economic boost. Of course, there are those that are skeptical of how much of an impact this could have on the city. Of course, it's not a done deal. This convention is pending a final vote of approval from the RNC, and that is expected in August. Reporting live outside City Hall, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. A lot of work ahead. Step one, recovering from COVID. Hope that happens soon. All right, Angie, thanks.